what is up guys brit tech here back with another video and today i am going to be showing you how to install software update ios 16.3.1 on your iphone so let's get into it go ahead and open up your settings and scroll down to general and then you're going to select software update and right here is where you will see the update and how to download and install it so 16.3.1 is approximately 604.4 megabytes. So it's a pretty hefty one, but it looks like it's just for bug fixes and security updates. It says this update provides important bug fixes and security updates for your iPhone. And for more information on the security content of Apple software updates, you can click the link and it'll take you to Apple support. But just to give you guys a little bit more about this update, just like a brief overview, if you are having any issues with iCloud settings, uh, possibly your iCloud settings being unresponsive or incorrectly displayed, um, if apps are using iCloud, then this update is for you. I know some people are also having issues with Siri trying to request find my iPhone and it's not working. This update is also for you. And then lastly, crash detection optimization on iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro models is also having issues. So this would be for those people as well. And then of course your occasional security updates and bug fixes. Uh, you can get more information, like I said previously, on Apple support. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. First, you're gonna to need to download this. So it's gonna require your passcode. You need to make sure your phone is at least 50% charged and on the charger. If not, let's go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions. And all right, so the update has been requested and this is going to be downloading. It may take a while, probably 15, 20 minutes of downloading. Then once that is complete, it will go ahead and install the software update. Once it does that, you will go through a series of reboots and your phone, once it properly reboots and the home screen comes up, then you will know the software update has been completed. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this software update. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I do recommend this uh, software update for all iPhone users. I think it would be smart to do this one and not skip out on it. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.